What's up, Cowboys Nation? Welcome back to Cowboys News TV, where we bring you the latest updates and insights about our Dallas Cowboys. I'm Dave, and today, we're diving into some pivotal storylines as the Cowboys gear up for their upcoming game against the Pittsburgh Steelers. But before we kick things off, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Your support is crucial as we strive to reach our goal of 12,000 subscribers, every click counts. Now, let's get started. The Cowboys are coming off a hard-fought 20-15 victory over the New York Giants, and it's time to decompress and refocus as they prepare for their next challenge. The team is facing some tough decisions this week, especially with the injuries to star defensive ends Micah Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence. Both players are likely to miss time, which means the Cowboys will need to get creative with their roster and game plan. How do you think they should approach replacing these key players? Let us know in the comments below. First up on our radar is cornerback Darren Bland. After a standout rookie season, Bland has been sidelined following foot surgery in late August. However, Cowboys Executive Vice President Stephen Jones has indicated that he's making progress toward a return. While he might not play against the Steelers, the possibility of him rejoining practice soon is something to keep an eye on. Cowboys Nation, do you think Bland can step back into his role and elevate our defense? Vote in our poll and share your thoughts in the comments. Now, let's shift gears to head coach Mike McCarthy, who is making a homecoming of sorts. A Western Pennsylvania native, McCarthy's career has seen ups and downs during his time with the Cowboys. While he's had consistent success with three consecutive 12-win seasons, questions linger about his future as his contract nears its end. A win against the Steelers could bolster his standing, but a loss may raise more eyebrows. What are your expectations for McCarthy in this crucial game? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to share this video with fellow fans. As the Cowboys aim to build on their recent victory, there are recurring issues that need addressing. While the team showed promise, particularly in the run defense, holding the Giants to just 26 yards on 24 carries, Dallas needs to maintain this momentum. Motsi Smith's performance has drawn praise, but can the Cowboys keep up this level of play? We want to hear from you. What are your keys to success for the Cowboys moving forward? Share your insights in the comments below. On the offensive side, Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb seem to be finding their rhythm after a slow start. Lamb had a season-high performance against the Giants with seven catches for 98 yards, including a spectacular 55-yard touchdown. For Dallas to stay competitive in the NFC, Prescott and Lamb need to keep this level of performance consistent. Do you think they can maintain this trend against tougher opponents? Join the conversation in the comments and tell us your predictions. Now, we're diving into a standout performance from Motsi Smith during the recent game against the New York Giants. So, was that Motsi Smith's best game? From what we saw, it certainly felt like it. Smith was noticeably more aggressive at the line of scrimmage, pushing back against offensive linemen and making impactful plays. The Giants struggled to run the ball, averaging just 1.1 yards per carry, and that's a testament to Smith's performance. But what exactly did he and the run defense do differently this time around? Let's dive in. At the defensive tackle position, the primary goal is to hold your ground. Smith accomplished that and more against the Giants, preventing big running lanes and making it difficult for their backs to find any space. This solid performance is a step up from what we've seen earlier in his career. But to elevate from a solid player to a great one, he needs to be disruptive. And that's precisely what he did. He stopped runs behind the line of scrimmage and created chaos for the Giants offense. So, Cowboys Nation, how do you feel about Motsi Smith's progression? Was this his best game, or do you see even more potential? Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to participate in our poll about whether you think he can maintain this level of play moving forward. Interestingly, this performance wasn't just a flash in the pan. It's a continuation of what Smith showcased in the fourth quarter against the Ravens, showing he's starting to find his footing as the starting nose tackle. Consistency is key now. He needs to carry this momentum over the coming weeks. 
His stats might not jump off the page like those of some superstar defensive tackles, but the impact he's making is palpable. As he continues to develop, Smith could change the narrative around him and prove the doubters wrong. If he keeps pushing bodies around and allowing our linebackers to make plays, he could become a cornerstone of this defense. Cowboys Nation, how important do you think Motsi Smith's role will be as we progress through the season? Share your thoughts in the comments, and let's discuss. Now, back to the big news. Coach McCarthy revealed on Friday that Parsons is dealing with a high ankle sprain, while Lawrence has a foot sprain, both injuries are more severe than the team initially expected. This is a huge blow for the Cowboys, especially considering both of these players are Pro Bowl pass rushers. McCarthy stated, I don't have a specific timeline, but we'll get into that probably a little deeper Monday. I do know there will be second opinions involved for both of these guys. Cowboys Nation, how concerned are you about these injuries? Could this impact our chances against the Steelers and Lions in the coming weeks? Let's hear your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to participate in our community poll, should the Cowboys consider making a trade for more depth on the defensive line? Stephen Jones also weighed in, saying that Parsons will be evaluated week to week while Lawrence will likely be out a little longer. This means the Cowboys might be without their star players for crucial matchups ahead. With the Cowboys sitting at a 2-2 record, every game counts as we move forward. Speaking of upcoming games, we're set to face the undefeated Steelers on October 6th, followed by a matchup against the Lions on October 13th, right before our bye week. It's crucial we maintain our defensive strength, especially with Parsons and Lawrence potentially sidelined. McCarthy is optimistic, though, stating, I definitely think they'll be back. I just don't have the timeline. Now, let's talk about the impact of these injuries. With Parsons and Lawrence possibly out, rookie Marshawn Neeland and fourth-year player Chauncey Galston will need to step up as the primary edge rushers. McCarthy praised their performances after taking over for Parsons and Lawrence, but we need to know, do you think Neeland and Galston can handle the pressure? Drop your thoughts in the comments. The Cowboys' defense has struggled to generate a consistent pass rush this season, tallying just six sacks in four games, with only two in the last three. Lawrence leads the team with three sacks, while Parsons, who recorded an impressive 14 sacks last year, has only managed one so far in 2024. This is a critical moment for our defense. Cowboys Nation, what strategies do you think the team should implement to fill the gaps left by Parsons and Lawrence? Should they look at promoting someone from the practice squad or perhaps explore options in free agency? Let us know what you think. Coach McCarthy also highlighted the importance of experience and getting ready for more playtime. He mentioned, the biggest thing is to take the experience and get ready to play more. It's clear that with the current injuries, the coordination and impact of our pass rush need to be a focal point moving forward. After the recent weeknight game, Coach McCarthy is planning to give players and coaches a much needed break this weekend. However, important decisions are looming regarding the roster configuration and how best to adjust to these injuries. As we await more updates on Parsons and Lawrence, the team must evaluate its options. This situation reminds us how crucial depth is in the NFL. Injuries happen, and how we respond often shapes the season's outcome. Before we wrap up, I want to remind you again to subscribe to Cowboys News TV if you haven't already. Your support helps us keep bringing you the best content and discussions surrounding our beloved Cowboys. And if you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow Cowboys fans. Thank you for tuning in, Cowboys Nation. Your insights are invaluable to us, so keep the conversation going in the comments. We can't wait to bring you more updates and analysis as we gear up for another thrilling season. Until next time, stay safe, stay strong, and go Cowboys!